Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to go to somewhere I've not been to for quite a while and that is back to Russia and take a look at one of their newer single meal ration packs. Now this is a single meal and it's their menu one. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And so, as you can see, I now have here on the table this Russian Army Single Meal Pack. Now, it comes in a uh, green camouflage package. This particular one is Option 1, Menu 1. I don't know if you can just see that. And the best before date is 26th of the 8th, 2001. Um, nice little carry handle on top. Feels like a aluminium lined bag. Looks like there's a resealable seal along there and an open seal here so that you could reuse the bag for any spares. So let's just give that a little tear and see what we actually get. Now according to the list of ingredients this one should be meat and vegetables and some vegetable caviar. So nice little peel open bag, silver lined foil bag there. Inside little box, so let's move that to one side for now. So, simple plastic brown box there. So straight off. Obviously, I'll have translations. Um, if I have trouble, I think this must be the apple jam or apple butter. I'll have a look at that. Um, the translate properly. There are the wet naps. I think it's the white for your hands, the green for your cutlery. This usually makes it look like military. The Russian military do like to have those particular wet naps. I think this must be the vegetable caviar. We have a sugar. There is a tea. I've had these teas many times before. They are very good quality tea. We have salt. Pepper. I think that is a... Um, Either a vitamin tablet or a water purification, probably a water purifying tab. There's a little stove with a single fuel, a single block of fuel there. Two matches to go with the stove, so it's a very simplistic, very lightweight ration, single meal as they say. This is the mains, now I believe it is meats with vegetables. And of course, no Russian meal will be complete without the famous Russian crackers. So there's two packs of eight, 16 crackers. So, oh, I nearly forgot. So there's a little simple spoon. And at the bottom here, there is a single napkin or tissue. There is a couple of little lists of ingredients, I think, and content sitting in there all written in Russian it will take me an hour to decipher so that is the content of this new single meal Russian menu or option one ration so let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like and as you can see I now have here on the tray the contents of this eight hour russian meal now for those observant viewers amongst you you might have noticed earlier on i made a little bit of a mistake i did actually say this expired in 2001 i did actually mean to say in 2021 so that's for the keen-eyed eagle-eyed viewers out there so let's uh, start getting these put together now first off, there is no cold drinks in here, so I'm just going to have a little bit of water. All troops will be carrying water in their canteens, so a little bit of water to refresh my palate. And then the only other thing that needs a bit of preparation apart from the mains, which I've already been boiling for 10 minutes, is this tea. So this is a tea bag I've had many times before, never failed to impress up to now. I do enjoy this tea. I've said in previous rations, I wish I could buy this commercially in the UK. Maybe I could in some of our European stores. And I might actually just go out and see if I can find some. So, standard looking tea bag. 
very large sugar 20 gram sugar I won't be needing all of that so I'll just take the edge off that and have a about a teaspoon which is my usual sort of quantity of sugar let's put the rest there and using the little plastic spoon that came with it I hope this can stand the heat I've used these before in hot water and uh, they've gone a little bit soft we'll just add some water to that tea about three quarters of a mug I usually find sufficient for these teas just leave that to agitate a little bit and do its thing Use the spoon so moving along we have the standard apple butter now these apple jam seems to be in every Russian ration um, that I try it would be nice it is a good quality jam but it would be nice to sometime just try something a little different a bit of strawberry jam or a bit of fruit jam but it is what it is we also have two packets of the famous Russian crackers I'm not going to need those move on to one side I should just open one pack again I've had these now many many times universal crackers in virtually every Russian ration and a pack of eight I've just got a half of them out there we have again a staple of many Russian rations this is the um, vegetables you know it's caviar some call it vegetables caviar um, does say on the pack eat cold I sometimes have these hot um, but today I'm having that in a cold form it is just uh, minced vegetables of various types and of course we have the mains which is a little bit different this is meat with vegetables I've had a look at the contents list it says the meat is chicken so it's chicken with vegetables been boiling now for about 10 minutes in a pan of water just peel that back there's a nice smell coming from there it smells like a traditional sort of stew with smell I'm going to bring in a bring in a bowl just for demonstration it is easier to see and just can't empty that out there so let's get all of it this is again going to form my lunch it's now about lunch time so I do like to eat the rations okay so good old mix around there um, I'm gonna have to bring in another spoon because I don't fancy using that one now to remove my tea bag so the good old USMRE spoon just to help me remove this tea bag okay one side there. Okay, so start where I normally start with the drinks. Nothing new to me here. Many, many times I've had this before. Mm. Good quality, very drinkable, easy, easy on your palate. Tea. Just missing the milk. I do like a milky tea. Um, but even in its black state with sugar, it is a good quality, non-bitter, um, English style breakfast tea. If I say that, most people will know that sort of style. Very good quality, very enjoyable black tea. So, not too much on the um, content, so we'll go straight to the mains, I think. Now this is meat with vegetables. I did have a look on the contents list on the packet it did say chicken meat very difficult to actually see that it's chicken um, so here it goes I can see potato I can see carrot I can see red pepper bell pepper so a little try of the mixture all together mm. very simplistic flavors salted peppered sufficiently um, there is no texture left to the meat there's a little bit of the meat there 
totally dissolved in the mouth no texture there at all the meat is totally totally well stewed the potatoes little almost chips or little fries pieces of fry in or chip from the UK again extremely soft almost like a puree this has been boiled and boiled and boiled let's try some of the other vegetables mm. no teeth required totally stewed to oblivion um, that doesn't impact on the flavor plenty of flavor plenty of taste just no texture even the chicken the meat I think it's ground meat if it isn't ground it's been stewed for so so long there is no texture it's almost like a puree in texture very very soft but still very tasty lots of flavors nicely salted nicely peppered um, nice tasting stew just a real shame there's no texture there here is the vegetables looking in the same sort of state very very highly stewed very very um, boiled I had this many times before sometimes I have it hot sometimes I have it cold standard um, pureed vegetables a um, little bit of veg to go with the with the stew there let's just try the two combined together mm. adds another flavor another another bit of sourness to it plenty of salt plenty of pepper a little slightly sour um, added to the mains just adds another extra flavor Rarely disappoint, just not overly exciting in its appearance, but a nice blend of vegetable flavours. I'm just going to refresh my palate with some of this water there. The crackers, again, oh, broken one there. We have seen these many, many, many times now in the reviewing community. Simple, plain cracker. often have a bleached flour taste these particular ones do not which is nice um, on many of my previous Russian crackers they had like a bleached flour these have not got that taste these are just a simple slightly salted wheat style cracker um, not a lot of flavor just there as a bulking agent but at this time the bleach agent or the chlorine agent I often taste in the Russian crackers isn't there which for me makes them far more palatable mm. great bulking extra bit of texture to this otherwise soft mains here don't need the salt and pepper I'm just going to refresh my palate crackers much better than normal should then go well without that bleach flavor with this apple jam seen many many times before just give it a bit of a squeeze out of the tube there if it will come out well I've only just caught it there on the edge nice dark um, jam apple usually in all of these rations same again today apple that said, sweet, tasty, enjoyable, nice bit of um, sweetness for after lunch. Just a shame that it seems to be in every ration. Nothing wrong with it. Really, really good quality. It's just very, very repetitive in every single ration. But it is a nice, sweet jam. We'll take some tea. So, overall, interesting ration, very lacking in texture, crumbling some of the crackers into the mains, into the vegetables, will give it a little bit of crunch, but overall, it's a very, very soft, 
highly stewed but that says flavoursome meal no problem eating it just a texture issue so good decent meal nothing over exciting but would certainly do the job so I'm going to leave it here thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye.